वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू अनदर ट्यूटोरियल ऑन टैबलू दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज विल हेल्प यू टेक योर स्किल्स फ्रॉम बिगनर टू एक्सपर्ट लेवल इन टैबलू डो नॉट फोगेट टू हिट द रेड सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू आर द फर्स्ट वन टू नो वेन एवर आई अपलोड एनी न्यू वीडियो इन टूडे सेशन वी विल सी हाउ टू विजुअलाइज मल्टीपल मेजर्स यूजिंग अ पाई चार्ट इन टैबलू we all know how to create a pie chart to visualize single measure say sales done for different categories but today we will create a pie chart using multiple measures let me first show you the demo of what we will be doing today here i have a pie chart that shows percentage of total sales done in different regions so 21.8% of sales was done in the central region then 29.5% of sales was done in the east region and so on so instead of directly using region column and sales measure to create this pie chart i have used four different measures each for west east south and central region to create this pie chart let me explain you the reason behind this in an excel so here we have a text table that has region and the sales done in each region for january and the february month using region as the categorical column and sales as the measure we can easily create a pie chart in tableau but suppose the data set that we have is in this form where each region is a separate column and we don't have any categorical column that we can use to create a pie chart here we have west east south and the central region as four different measures we will see how we can use this data set and create a pie chart using these four measures we do come across these situations where we have to create a pie chart using multiple measures so i suggest you to watch this video till the end now without wasting any time let's jump to tableau the goal here is to visualize the percentage of sales done in different regions using a pie chart where each region is a separate column in the data set so first let's create four different measures using the region column so click on the drop down click on create calculated field let's name it east region and the calculation will be if region equal to east then sales and here we are telling tableau to return sales for all the rows where the region is east click on okay similarly we will create calculated field for remaining three regions so click on the drop down click on uh, duplicate now click on this copy field go to edit and here let's give the name west region and the formula will be if region equal to west then sales and click on okay now create similar calculated field for south region click on duplicate let's edit this field click on edit name this south region and the formula will be if region equal to south then sales click on okay now create the last calculated field for central region click on duplicate let's edit this field name it central region
and the formula will be if region equal to central then sales and click on ok this basically I am doing is because we need to create four different measures now put all the four calculated fields that we have created to text press control on the keyboard and select all the fields let's first drop these fields to text so here we have total sales done in each region now we need to show sales in each region in the form of percentage so we will create four more calculated fields so click on the drop down click on create calculated field let's name it west so to calculate the percentage of sales done in west region we will simply divide the sales in the west region by the total sales sum of sales in west region divided by open the brackets and mention all the four calculated fields that we have created sum of east then sum of central and last is sum of south and enclose these four fields within parenthesis now this calculated field will basically divide the sum of sales in the west region by the total sales so click on ok now repeat the process to create this percentage field for remaining three regions just click on the drop down click on duplicate let's edit this field name it east and instead of west region we will write down east region click on ok now let's create calculated field for central just edit this field let's name it central and the formula will be sum of sales in central region click on ok and the last will be south just duplicate this field and let's edit the field name it south and the formula will be sum of sales in the south region click on ok now we have the four measures let's remove these measures and add the calculated fields that we have created for the percentage then south and then west now drag these four calculated fields to text these are the four measures that give us percentage of sales done in each of the region in terms of percentage now using these four measures we will create a pie chart create a new sheet and from the marks type select pie to visualize multiple measures in a pie chart we make use of measure names and measure values drag measure names to color and drag measure values to angle so this will add all the measures that we have in the data set under measure values but here we have to use only the four measures so remove all the unnecessary measures from here Uh, south then remove the south region and west region change the fit to entire view now turn on the labels by clicking on show mark label button here let's change the format of these fields in terms of percentage right click on measure values click on format 
then go to pain go to numbers then from here select percentage and let's show only one decimal place so here we have created a pie chart using four different measures that shows the percentage of total sales done in different regions these percentage will add up to 100% which is correct if you want to show region name also in label drag measure names also to the label close this format measure values drag measure names to label again drag measure values to label now we can see both the region and the sales percent in the label you can edit the color of these regions as per your requirement so in this way we can create a pie chart using multiple measures by making use of measure names and measure values this was all that i had to cover in this session i have added the link of this workbook in the description below do not forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video thanks for watching this video